Hey y'all, today I'm going to share a quick video using masking fluid. If you're not familiar with masking fluid, I got the one at the left, this one from the craft store. It's by Winsor & Newton, and you apply it with a brush. Here, let me open the lid so that you can see. Okay, there we go. So it comes in this bottle, and then you have to apply it with a brush, and you have to be really careful not to let it dry on your brush because it would totally ruin it. Don't ask me how I know. And then I saw this one at Ellen Hudson and I just had to give it a try because it comes in this applicator bottle with this fine tip. It's kind of like the same diameter tip as you'd find on like glitter glue. So there's the two masking fluids and today I'm just going to be using that new one. I think you call it Nouveau. And I've really sped this up for you so that you don't have to wait a lot and watch boring bits. But basically, all you do is cover up the parts that you want to keep um, clean. So I'm going to be watercoloring this Mondo Sakura. It's also by Ellen Hudson. And I just put it over all those little stamens. And now I'm prepping my ceramic palette so that I can go ahead and watercolor this. And the beauty of masking fluid is that it resists the watercolor or you could... It'll also resist ink or any other media that you want to use it with. So I can just go ahead and watercolor these flowers with like total abandon here. So I'm just like applying color really liberally, just like that, and dropping in dark color. And then once the watercolor is completely dry, you can go ahead and remove it. You can use a soft eraser or just use your finger and gently rub that masking fluid away. And then you can go back in and add color where the resist was. So here you can see I added some yellow stamens just with yellow watercolor. And then I decided this needed a little bit of glitter. So I went ahead and added the glitter over top of the yellow watercolor on those stamens. And now here's a little close up so that you can see that better. Isn't that pretty? I just love how this turned out. So that's it for me. Before I go, I wanted to send a huge congratulations out to Ardith for reaching a thousand subscribers on YouTube and hope you all enjoy the rest of the hop. Also, I've got full supply list and instructions on my blog too. Find the link down there in the description. Bye.